Are you ready to make your debut, my little miss? Are you? Are you ready for the world to love you the way mama do? What's up, James? It's Victoria James, and welcome back to my channel. Now, normally we do talk all things luxury and high-end beauty and skincare on this channel, but today we have a new member of the family, and I have been asked to, or it has been requested rather, that I talk about where I got her, how I got her, you know, the whole shebang. My baby girl, Nala, turns five this Thursday, the 26th of January. And um, all she's wanted <laughs> since she was like three <laughs> is a dog. <laughs> um, I wanted to make sure that she loved animals and treated animals well. So, you know, we've we've had um, we have many family members that have dogs. Um, Nala had fish for a while, as you remember from my old videos. If you've been here a while, we used to have a fish tank in the background of my videos. And so... Um, once they all passed away, I said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just stop right there, save our money for what she really wants, which is a dog. We would have our doggy cousins, <laughs> my aunt's dogs, over um, on the weekends sometimes so that Nala could get acclimated to the idea of having a dog in the house and what that entails, you know, walking and cleaning and, you know, all of the, all the things, um, animal um, communication, you know, body language, things like that. And so once I felt like she was ready, I started to look online um, and locally for a dog. Now I asked Nala what she wanted and she said she wanted a black dog because um, my aunt's dog Gizmo is a black um, poodle mix and she, she loves him. She loves him so much, but she definitely wanted a girl. So. I went online and looked up different um, breeders. I looked up local breeders. I looked up dogs that needed to be shipped. All all of that. I, and and one of or two of the websites that stood out to me were uh, Perfect Pups and Lancaster Pets. Perfect Pups. Um, they have a lot of advertisement on YouTube, so you've probably seen them before. If you watch a lot of dog videos, we, we like to watch dog grooming videos a lot. And um, some, some of the doggy channels as well. And so I was looking for a little black girl for Nala. And I knew that it needed to be a poodle mix because I do have a slight pet dander allergy. And so having the poodle hybrid tends to help with the shedding and in turn helps with my allergies. So um, I said, okay, well, let me look at the different types of poodle mixes. And so I looked up multi-poos, she-poos, cockapoos, um, cavapoos, just anything that stayed fairly small, like under 20 pounds is what I was really looking for. So that, um, you know, if we live in another apartment, for example, we wouldn't have to worry about the size of the dog affecting our ability to get approved. Next, I narrowed down by gender because Nala really wants a girl. And so I just chose female puppies in with the poodle mix. And then I started to look for the color. It was very difficult to find a predominantly all black puppy that was a girl is that like I don't know if that's just the season that we're in like the availability of what I was looking at personally or what but like most of the black dogs were boys and I'm like I know they got black girl dogs like I've seen them <laughs> so like what is going on I um did find a couple of them here and there towards the holiday season but because I had already spent so much money on gifts and things like that I just could not afford them I swear they were like after you factor in the transportation fee and things like that they were they were around two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars I mean you know you're getting them from breeders you, there's a certain guarantee there's a certain pedigree there you know things like that um <laughs> and so <clears throat> And so I was getting a little dejected, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, because 
these puppies go fast. I mean, people see them, they're super cute. You get to um, watch them interact and things like that. And so I was starting to feel like, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna get one for her because we were supposed to get her one for her birthday. I'm sorry, for Christmas. We we're supposed to get it for Christmas. But she got so many gifts for Christmas, I said, okay, Nala, let's talk compromise, yes. How about I get you a puppy for your birthday? Her birthday is the, the next month after. So Jan uh, December 25th is Christmas, January 26th is her birthday. It's like literally a month after. So I said, okay, we can either have a big party, you know, we can have, do the big party thing and you just get a few, a few nice toys and a big party and then you wait for your dog for later or I can get you a dog and we can have a small party at home. She chose the latter. <laughs> and so I started to really look at Lancaster pets a little more because I remember their pricing was a lot more affordable and they're, they tend to be very localized or, or very sort of centralized, I should say, in the Northeast. And I could narrow it down by gender, I could narrow it down by breed, um, all that good stuff. So I did um, settle on Shipu as the poodle mix of my choice because I'm very familiar with Shisus. I grew up with them. I had a couple of my own. So I am familiar with their personalities and how to care for them. So we went with Shipu and that's when we found Missy. Now that was her original name, Missy. And here is what her picture uh, was on the website. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's perfect. So I looked at the pricing. She was uh, $500. And I was like, wow, that's actually not bad at all. That's incredibly affordable. So I said, okay, let me find the contact. So I did get in contact with Susan, who was, um, who had both Missy and her sister. Once I got in contact with her, um, she told me what the transportation fee was because she's based in Ohio. Um, and the transportation fee was $300. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, by the time I contacted her, the price had already dropped from 500 to 400. It was like the next day she discounted the dogs that she had left. And I said, oh my gosh, so it's 400 for the dog, 300 for the transport, 700 total. Yes. <laughs> Bring her on over. We'll take her. And so, um, the transportation company in Ohio is called Furry Trails Pet Delivery or Pet Transport. And um, they were amazing. I mean, they contacted me numerous times just to confirm the date of delivery, the time of delivery, the cost of the puppy, um, to confirm which puppy, because they, the two of them looked very similar, her and her sister, which puppy I was getting. And um, Susan informed me when she dropped her off to Furry Trails. Furry Trails informed me when they were 10 minutes out. Um, they did drop her off very early in the morning, like four-ish, <laughs> like 4.15, somewhere around there, a.m. Um, the day that she was supposed to get here, I was so anxious. Like I tried to sleep. I was like, okay, so I'll go to bed around 10, 11 o'clock, you know, get a little bit of a little bit of sleep, and then I'll get up around 3.30 to um, wait for her and I did but the whole time I'm just laying there like oh my god okay just play a game to distract yourself okay what time is it now 347 oh god <laughs> you know just doing that over and over until I walked downstairs after they said she was 10 minutes away and they had pulled up and we I gave them the money they did take cash I gave them the money they gave me her dog food her uh, vaccination records her vet check um and then her they gave me her and man I was instantly in love look at how sleepy she is right now she looks so innocent don't she <laughs> this girl is feisty you guys so here she is she is eight weeks old when I agreed to purchase her she was still seven weeks so we did have to wait the additional week before they would actually bring her to me um Susan did offer, since it was a birthday gift, to delay it by a week, but I said, you know what, I can't wait, I want her right now. <laughs> so, so we did get her. She is a um, Toy Poodle and Shisu mix, which is also known as Shipu. So if you are looking for a beautiful baby like this one, then um, 
you want to go ahead and look up she poo now bella is her name that we changed you know we changed her name from missy to bella because we um nala really likes encanto and she wanted to name her puppy isabella which we did so if you um, scan her name tag it says isabella my contact information and address and what i mean by scan is this is the front of her id tag and this is the back it is a qr code i'm just gonna hold you up a little bit all right baby girl so here's her qr code and when you scan her qr code it does two things um, and if you don't have a cell phone or whatever, it does have like a touch uh, feature as well where you can like tap it and get that information. It has the website where her information is held and it also has um, it also has like her ID number for this particular tag. But basically, if you see her out and about and she is not with her owners and you scan this, it will let you know who her owner is, what her name is you know um and what my address is and my phone number but it also alerts me to where she is <laughs> where it was scanned so that i can come get her <laughs> if need be so i absolutely love this id tag when i saw this concept i said oh this is the future absolutely this is where we're at right now so i'm gonna link you guys if you have a dog and you need uh, an id tag for your dog i'm gonna link you to this product on amazon a lot of the stuff that we ended up buying for Bella came from Petco, um, but it also came from um, Amazon. And um, I will definitely discuss that with you guys in another video if you would like to see the things that we purchased for her and where to get them from. But this video is just to sort of introduce you to her and explain how we got her, how much she was, you know, things like that. So like I said, she came with her her um, vaccination records and a uh, vet ch vet check um, or exam and approval of a healthy puppy. She um, did have three shots so far because she's only eight weeks old. So she had three shots and um, every two, three to four weeks she will have an additional shot until she's one years old. Um, for different vaccinations. So what I'm going to do is um, she has a vet appointment on the 4th and I'm going to take her to the vet to have another checkup and just see um, what her blood levels look like so that I can see if I need to add supplements to her food. Um, you know, just making sure that my baby is healthy, you know. Um, although she is Nala's birthday gift, Nala is going to be five years old. So Nala doesn't fully understand what encompasses taking care of a dog which means that mommy is going to be helping a lot. <laughs> I've, I've been a dog owner uh, many times. I also volunteered for the ASPCA in Boston. And um, I just, you know, I love animals, especially dogs. I'm, I've, I've had a cat, but I'm definitely a dog person. And so, um, you know, I'm just going to teach her along the way how to how to care for her dog and then give her a little more independence until she's ultimately in charge of the dog herself um she loves her you guys like bella and nala are like this and it happened instantly when nala woke up that same day that, that bella arrived i had about two and a half hours with her by myself and then i woke nala up at seven to go to school and Nala, as soon as she saw her, she just fell apart. She was like, oh, Poppy! <laughs> she held her, she just cuddled her, and Bella fell in love. Bella and Nala fell in love with each other. So, let's have another quick look at this pretty girl. And I will link you guys to her sister, who I do believe is still available um, if someone hasn't already scooped her up because oh my goodness what a cutie she is going to get no bigger than 10 to 12 pounds she barely registers on my scale I don't even think she's a pound yet like I swear she's so teeny tiny <laughs> I just can't get enough of how cute she is um, she's feisty as heck she already barks she loves to chew on things so we did end up getting her a doggy chew toy um, as well as some like furry chew toys and like the tug of war pulls and you know the squeakies and all that. You don't want it? No, okay. 
She's she's tired. You are tired all of a sudden. Cause you have been so busy. So busy playing. Look at these eyes. <laughs> It's cracking me up that she's falling asleep because you guys, before I started filming, she was biting my tripod, <laughs> chewing on my light, um, my um, ring light wires, <laughs> biting my face, child. Like she was all over the place, and now she's just, now she's just an innocent widow for a ball. Uh, yeah. If you are in the market for a puppy, I highly recommend Lancaster Pets just in general because the prices are a little more affordable than Perfect Pets, but Perfect Pets offers you way more in terms of service and follow-up and, you know, kind of, um, like if you want a show dog grade dog, then you would want to go with Perfect Pets. Um, they're based in, um, were they also in New York or was it, I mean, uh, Ohio or was it New York? I think it is Ohio. They're based in Ohio, but obviously deliver everywhere and they have several different options including a drop-off area depending on what state you live in ours would, would have been Johnston Rhode Island um but yeah they have like different options for the transport of your puppy including like door-to-door -door. like it's really really great so I'll link both <laughs> in the description box come on baby say hi to the people say hi When I turn this camera off, you better start not start, okay? You He's out like a light, you guys. It's cracking me up. But yeah, um I think that that is pretty much it as far as the process of getting Bella and um we are still within the first week of having her, but already she has become so comfortable in the home and gets along with everybody in the house. She even, my husband even likes playing with her, like, <laughs> and he is not um, a big dog in the house kind of person, but he actually really enjoys Bella. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see what I purchased for her um, in preparing for her, if you would like that information, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to do that for you. Check out my TikTok. Um, which is also linked in the description box because I've posted quite a few videos of um, Nala playing with Bella and the day that we surprised her with the puppy. Um, also on my Instagram, I have some pictures of her as well. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And again, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye-bye!